it's not too much to say that, you know, Keith Johnson, my teacher, giving me the Martian Chronicles was one of the important steps to me becoming a professional science fiction writer. A lot of male writers are very d uh, clinical, especially in the way they write sci-fi fantasy, and, and Ray Bradbury wasn't that. There was something um, not female, but just just all all gendered about about the way he he writes people. Uh, as I'm reading through all, all these historical writers, you know, I was already in this headspace of are, are black people even allowed in science fiction spaces? You know, we're we're not. You know, I don't see many of us as writers, and I definitely aren't seeing us in the stories. And yet, here I am reading Ray Bradbury, and all of a sudden, I, basically, uh, one of my early encounters of being able to read Black people in science fiction, frankly. Um, and I think Bradbury's still relevant because he shows us how work can be deeply concerned about human connection and about the ways we perceive each other, but also still fall down. I think because he, A, was incredibly good at what he does. I mean, ultimately, that is the answer. He was incredibly good at what he does. His prose is impeccable and his ideas are strong. And, and the reason it's still relevant is because Bradbury thought long and hard about what he was trying to say. He wasn't writing casually. He wasn't simply tossing things off without any sense of um, the deeper philosophy or meaning behind what he was writing. He had something to say, as all the great authors do. The reason that I think most writers should read Ray Bradbury, and I, I teach it, him, is because he understands the specificity of language. Everything that he writes has this rhythm and cadence to it that elevates the language into uh, into kind of pure storytelling. The social commentary, he was addressing concerns of, of racism and environmental destruction and corporatization, um, the decimation of a native people, uh, colonialism. He was addressing big, deep, rich human themes that have vexed humanity for, for generations, but he was addressing them through the prism of uh, science fiction set on the surface of Mars. Mm -hmm.